two positions of a dice are shown below two positions of a dice are shown below when there are two dots at the bottom the number of dots at the top will be so when there are two dots at the bottom the number of dots at the top will be now don't try to use a shortcut that always the total of the opposite faces has to be seven it is only in a standard dice right only if it is a standard dice the total of opposite faces the total of opposite faces is seven right but that's not a rule right nowhere in the question has it been given that the dice is a standard one right like total of the opposite face is always seven meaning what what are what are the pairs one and six is a pair two and five is a pair and three and four is a pair right so opposite faces are one and six two and five three and four so if it is a standard die then it's very easy to answer if there are two dots at the bottom then there will be five dots on the top because two should be opposite to five or five should be opposite to two but whatever is a non-standard dice then there is no rule it can be in any fashion right right it is a question mark you never know how will it be now the question here says two positions of a dice are shown below so he has given us two of the positions of this dice and and do you know take it for granted that it is a non-standard one it's a non-standard dice it's not a standard one right so when there are two dots at the bottom the number of dots at the top so basically he says that the bottom face is two what will be the face on the top now easy to answer right it's really easy to answer such questions just go by a simple rule i mean this is like a technique which is very easy to apply first of all answer cannot be two if anybody has marked option one as answer he has not made a mistake he has he has committed a crime right you should be put in jail for doing this because when there are two dots at the bottom how can you say that the number of dots at the top is two there won't be two faces with the number two right there won't be two faces with the with with two dots so two is ruled out in, in fact giving it in the options itself is stupid but then if some of you have marked that as answer then i think the examiner is correct by giving that as an option right two is an impossible answer now remaining options are three five and six so there is an elimination method that can be applied i mean you can eliminate some of the options one option has already been eliminated eliminated what are the other ways of eliminating the answer options see if you look at the two figures here the two uh, positions which have been shown below in one position we see the number two here the, you see there are two uh, two dots on one face for these two dots for these two dots on this face you find that four is adjacent and one is adjacent see if you if you look at it what are the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the six numbers that we have he is asking us to find out what comes opposite to 2 what comes opposite to 2 2 cannot be opposite to 2 so 2 is ruled out i mean here none of the options get eliminated but then if you try to eliminate the answer options what options can be eliminated 1 and 4 can be eliminated number 1 and number 4 can be eliminated because from the second figure i know that 1 is adjacent to 2 you see 1 is adjacent to 2 if 1 is adjacent to 2 can it be opposite to 2 no Similarly, 4 is adjacent to 2. 4 and 2 are adjacent. You can see them, both the faces in the same figure, right? Which means they are adjacent. So, 4 is adjacent to 2. If 4 is adjacent to 2, can it be opposite to 2? No. The only possible answers are 3, 5 and 6. 3, 5 and 6. Yes or no? 3, 5 and 6. Now, here it's hard to find now. What is opposite to 2? It could be 3 or it could be 5 or, you know, it could be 6. But then any case where you find that in two of the positions there is one common number is there anything common between these two figures one is common here we have one dot and here also we have got one dot so very simple way of answering this simple technique you write this number one here and read it in the clockwise direction so what comes after one after one we have three and then after three we have got five you're able to follow i am taking the numbers starting from the first i mean whatever is common it's not that you have to always choose the top face. Here I have 1 and here also we have got 1. So we are going to start with 1. So take 1 and read the numbers in the clockwise direction. So we have 1, 3 and then 5. 1, 3, 5. Exactly below this, write it for the second dice. Again, you have to start from the common number. So what is not from the top face, but the common number. What is the common number here? 1. So write 1. Now read it in the clockwise direction. Again, read in the clockwise direction. So what do we get? 1, then 2 and then 4. Right? 1, 2, 4. 1, 2 and 4. You are able to follow? You take the common number and read in the clockwise direction. So we have 1, 3, 5 here. 1, 3, 5. Write that in a row. Then from the second dice, again it is 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4. Write that in a row. And that's it. So 1 is anyway common. Now whatever you see otherwise in the columns are opposite. So 2 is opposite to 3 and 5 is opposite to 4. You are able to follow? Now we can simply conclude that 2 and 3 are opposite and 5 and 4 are opposite. 5 and 4 are opposite. So obviously 1 is opposite to 6. 
Yes or no? The only number left out is 6. 1 has to be opposite to 6. Now, what is the question? If there are 2 dots at the bottom, the number of dots at the top, it will be 3. If there is 2 at the bottom, number of dots at the top will be 3. If there is 4 at the bottom, number of dots on the top will be 5. If there is 3 at the bottom, number of dots on, uh, dots on the top will be 2. If there is 1 at the bottom, number of dots on the top will be 6. Right? So, one way is maybe try and eliminate. If you can eliminate the answer options directly by looking at the figures, well and good. Otherwise, you can do this exercise, which, which hardly takes any time and get the answer. Right? So, when 2 is at the bottom, the number at the top will be 3. Right? That's a simple, uh, you know, technique that you need to follow. Sometimes three figures are also shown. Maybe he'll give you one more figure, one more position of this dice. If there are three figures, it becomes a lot more easier. I mean, then maybe we don't even have to use this technique, right? Just by elimination, you can get the answer. You'll be able to eliminate more and more options. As more and more figures are given, more and more options can be eliminated. So remember, point number one, that the total need not be seven. It's not the rule that total is always seven, right? Otherwise, this topic makes no sense at all. And yeah, there are multiple ways of finding out the opposite faces and things like that. It depends on the positions shown to you and the number of positions shown to you. So refer to this topic of dice that we have in your uh, account, right? In your program, learning program, and learn to know, learn, learn all the techniques there. Option two is the answer.